practicing today, Daddy. Yeah, where are we practicing today? Well, we're going someplace special today. These houses are huge. Yes, that one looks like a castle. You all like these houses? Yes. So that one looks like a White House. Which one? Which one you like? What's your favorite? I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's nice. If that was my house, mm -hmm. I'd put a pool in the front and a slide on the roof. Put your pool in the front. Pool party, and everybody's gonna want to come to my house. Oh, you just gonna be the crazy lady on the block. Oh, I'm gonna be the coolest person on the block. That one has a tennis court. Oh, that's the one then. That's the one. You gonna have any one of these houses you want? Beverly Hills, Hollywood Hills, any of these old hills? Because you got a plan and you gonna stick to it. As a little boy, my mom used to say, "Son, the most strongest." The most powerful, the most dangerous creature on this whole earth. It's a woman who know how to think. Ain't nothing she can't do. Y'all know how to think? Yes, Daddy. Now these people we about to go see. You gonna show them how dangerous you are? Yes, Daddy. Let me see your dangerous face. Uh. Well, that, that's your dangerous face. <laughs> there you go. That's your dangerous face. That's, okay, don't do that for the people. Don't you this is a movie about the number one and number two tennis players of all time. Two years before the girls were born, Richard wrote out plans for their entire careers. He and Orsine taught themselves tennis before Venus was born. They were learning as a family. You know, I was like, wait, that can't be true. You wouldn't believe this story. Everything was about family, belief, love, and triumph. This is a feel-good movie that you'd watch every Thanksgiving. I absolutely had to tell this story. Growing up in Compton, it was incredibly hard. Mom working double shifts to put food on the table. Richard had many jobs. All of the sisters were on the courts with them. They would pick up balls. They would hang signs. We got future doctors and lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. The chance of success is very unlikely. You making a mistake, but I'm gonna let you make it. We all have impossible dreams. Sometimes our circumstances may not necessarily line up to that, but that strength of the human spirit to overpower circumstances, like Venus and Serena, is wish fulfillment for all of us. Like that? I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh no, brother man, that got me the next too. The wonderful Serena, Serena and Venus, Venus Williams. I'm Venus. I'm Serena. So what'd you think? You freaked out. She started crying. No, but it wasn't while she was there. Like she walked away and then I went in the room and then I freaked out and I started crying. She started crying. And then they were like, oh, we're just waiting for Venus to do the photos. We had no idea they were gonna be there. Because sometimes they'll call me Venus and I was like, oh, I'm here. And they were like, no, we're waiting for Venus. Venus. Like Venus, what? Like, we saw her and I was like, <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Mickey? You good, Dad? <laughs> You're doing a good job with the um, accents. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not yet. All right, hold on. So you got to come on, my girl. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's our family. <laughs> Mama, Mama. <laughs> Which one is you? Let's see if you can guess. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Crazy. Crazy. Hi. 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 Hi.
and she left-handed. So not only she had to learn how to hit the hit the ball wow. with her right hand, you know. Wow. So that's the level of dedication that these, these kids is making, you know. So they got to learn to. I know. You know hit like I saw. You know, I saw yeah. the video. That's a huge responsibility to, you know, tell somebody's story, you know, because it, you know, bring up so much emotion for them. And anytime you do things like this, it's always some stuff the family love and then some things they hate. You can't tell somebody's story without, you know, some part of it not being authentic. You can't expect that you're going to hit everything perfect, but you just hope that as a whole, when they look at the thing as a whole, they feel good when they see it. That's our, that's our bed. That's that's our that's our our mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe it. I have a crush on a guy named York. <laughs> <laughs> How do you Serena? She's gonna Serena. fall in love with someone named York. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna be into you. <laughs> Remember you like Brian Butts? Oh. I didn't like Vinny That was Lynn. No, you like Brian Butts? That was you. That you was like you. Brian Butts. Oh, okay. And so Lynn York. Like okay, we got three. You got three. And you liked Byron. <laughs> <laughs> so we named the Lynn. story is a story of dreams coming true. This is a story with the good and the bad that says your family is the human success story. You guys showed what it's like to believe in yourselves, what it's like to have love and to be a unit and to hold tight and firmly together in the face of all kinds of opposition. I wanna thank you and I wanna thank your family for giving me the opportunity to be a part of that. shake up this world. King Richard. I'm very happy to see another biopic Consumer come out. I always 19. believe that these biopic films of seeing people come up and rise from the bottom up is a great inspiration to us all, which is why I let uh, a clip play out in the beginning of King Richard's. So I hope it was inspiring to you as it was to me to watch this. And are you a filmmaker that is looking to um, come up in the world and learn new things and try different things to uh, better your filmmaking? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video because I do a lot of these types of videos every week. I do have a lot of digital filmmaking videos on here as well as uh, a bunch of behind the scenes on major f uh, films that are currently out in theaters right now. So go ahead and check them out and I'll see you here next time. Later.